What is up guys welcome back to another bleach episode this is 282 and 83 let's go and skip the opening which I should have done before and then we will go from the preview because that would be help me to a certain bit okay we are starting from 1 minute 47 second people let's go and get this going so for the people who want more bleach here we go and just so you guys know I personally want to watch more bleach than you guys want to see my reaction trust me it's at a good point now if you don't see me excited then I don't know what to explain to you just I don't want to fall behind on the ongoing anime because they are such a pain to catch up so last episode we obviously saw Baranga getting destroyed well his power his own power is killing him And we also got to see his past. And I actually didn't know that, you know, Eisen was traveling through, you know, to Hollow World from Soul Society before he actually betrayed them. And Hachi, man, sacrificed his arm. Well, it's hard to defeat him without any sacrifices, but yeah. Ichimaru is that confident man. I'm so looking forward to Senji vs. Ichimaru. Well, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but... Damn! Okay, they're not using their mask because, you know, they can't hold it for more than three minutes. But I'm pretty sure at this point Ichiko can hold more than three minutes and his color transformation is even more powerful. I'm liking... Um, I was about to say Kaido. I'm liking. This is how long it's been since I saw the last episode. He put his hand out. Yep. Okay, Stark. That's the name I forgot. But yeah. Well, we'll see. Is it though? Oh damn! Does look like the cat catcus, the plant. Oh damn! His arrow didn't even do much. He probably have moved. 
he is quite fast obviously but for this guy to swing around his sampakto like that man look at the size of it but again it's a spirit it's a spiritual power right it's not actual solid metal wait stark actually got hit His music man is just calm, easy going. <laughs> oh. don't think Aizen care about those kind of stuff but let's see Aizen is also a complicated thing Ichimaru is the most for me but Aizen is come on really now he's just having conversation with his uh, Sambaktu And damn, he's just firing randomly. I think he's aiming something. Damn, to stop with his guns alone. Okay, he's having some doubts. You know, it would be more epic if that gun wasn't talking. It will, it will be a big letdown if that thing's got defeated just like that, but let's see. Hey, he make other people think that too, but let's see. He got hit again, but let's see. I'm with you. Oh boy. I thought this one was exclusive for Sinji, but let's see. That's another guy too, huh? That's a lot of confidence he have. And Rose is not attacking at all. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. He's here. Time a whip, eh? Both of them got their mask on. They haven't released, they haven't gone their bunk guy form though. Damn, he can't control it at his will. Nani? I don't think he have to say those words because he noticed he's a oh damn okay never mind screw all of that fire damn it's like a nuke but at least it's just affected like a certain area like in a round it doesn't go splashed everywhere oh we're back here Oh damn it. Halibel. I got the name. Oh. <laughs> I swear there's no teamwork at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think they are they get their recovered, you know, time wise. <laughs> the hollow power Completely leaving him outside. It's a guy I should go to a shop and buy a mask to join the party. Okay, so Stark is about to get serious, I guess. Oh, okay, he's gonna go all out, at, I think, because they always have something hidden. Oh. 
Oh. Wolves? Okay. Dude, that's like an army of them. It's just like those, you know, those three girls made one of those monsters. It's like that. Oh, wait. He's gone. Dude, there is a wolf, no pistol. So, just as at least I would assume that. Wait. That's Stark, and he turned the pistol game into her. I mean, into him. And Stark associated with wolf. Well, let's see. Okay, I don't think you can destroy them because they are spiritual. Okay, there we go. They are regenerate instantly. They're just gonna get tired. Okay. Damn. That is true. Oh. That wasn't just one, there was like three left. Oh, damn. Okay, that's all Stark. And he can't swing around that big Zamba too like nothing. Damn! Those are like explosive. Okay, that's a bad news. Okay. wanted a bit seriously okay that is a problem now oh he's making more of them he's basically get ripping off his own soul right so how big is his soul? This is bit pretty much nothing probably to him. And they're out of their mask is out as well. Okay, where the hell is Okitake and Kyoros? Oh? 
somebody stabbed from behind I guess it, it doesn't really matter because they are fighting hollow and that Sambaktu almost look like Ichigo's but I know that's not Ichigo's that's Sambaktu it's not Ukitake's either is it anyway we're gonna go and skip this part as well and then get to the Shinigami school or okay there we go Exactly, why don't they not? Never mind, they, they have their own problem to worry about, okay? So, uh, let me go and get the next episode, guys, and we'll be back. Alright, guys, episode 283. So, Star got stabbed from behind. I'm not sure if that's Kyoraku's or um, Ukitage's Sampaktu because I can't. I cannot see anybody else joining in this battle. But Stark's uh, power is pretty crazy because he can rip off his own soul and make something out of it and make them chase. Uh, the Stark and Wolf thing is somehow joined for some reason because even in Game of Thrones you see Stark and uh, wolf but anyway let's go and get in this and see who actually stabbed them and also I don't I'm honestly I honestly don't think it's Kyoraku because if you think about it he's he was injured I don't think he is you know out of the battle but I, I, I'm not sure if if he's gonna come back this soon uh, but you never know let's see he's a apparently a crazy strong captain according to you guys everybody say I'm really underestimating Kyoraku so I'm looking forward to seeing him in battle anyway let's go 283 people 143, 44, 45, you know, the timers there. Okay. The wolves look actually badass though, it's just cool. The style and art and music is like a battle theme. Well, it is a battle, obviously, but yeah, it's really good. When he meant let's go Stark, I thought it's the Linlet, lin the girl was inside Stark body, apparently not. And I honestly didn't expect this battle to go down first. I was expecting um, number three's battle to go down, but they're not following the numbers. And he figured out wrong. And look at him he make it like like effortlessly effortlessly he rip his soul off rather split his soul off and make them like nothing
they're acting like they have something up their sleeve, but I'm not sure if they really do. But Stark is actually, you know, like a really badass character. And I didn't, I honestly thought somebody coming back, the spiritual pressure is kind of putting, putting him down, but I didn't see that. But I don't think that's mortally wanted, but let's see. Oh, wait. That is. Wait, within the shadow? Kyura, Kyura. Kyuraki? He was with... What the hell was that? Okay, this is, you know, his uh, court, but let's see. You see though? Exactly. Why? Oh, because their soul might run out. Yeah, time to explain. Kageoni, okay? You'll need to unlock your phone first. Oh wait, that's her power. Oh? Wait, that's actually ridiculous and too OP. Look at Stark, he's actually surprised and sweating. Oh! Because his shadow is still on the ground. Okay, so the wolves are protecting Stark at the moment. Linlet is also part of that though. Oh boy, he's pissing him off. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you have some sort of idea going on. Let's see how that's gonna work out. Oh boy, he is higher ground. <laughs> His shadow is still there. Damn.
Damn. Wow. Okay. I didn't see that coming. You know, after you cut him like this, I don't think it's matter which way, you know, that explosive not gonna take him out. Wait, so secret taken out? Okay, I think Star gonna emotionally lose it because he's even worried about Barank and so I, I'm assuming C gonna actually have a C gonna have a big one. I mean, he's gonna have a big emotional fight. Okay, we're gonna get to see his past. Okay, I don't think Stark is actually thinking. Okay. And he had one. Uh, he lost that one as well. I'm not sure what's his reaction gonna be. Damn, okay. Kyoraku is actually tired. Okay, this is another game. If you say white, that's... Yeah, there we go. That's pretty simple, isn't it? He also have white, okay. Well, he didn't... Dude, now there's no weak spot. <laughs> Damn!
Okay, it would be disappointing if Kyurok actually got defeated start without going Bungai. I'm assuming this is all of his friends. But Stark want to be weak. If he is weak, wouldn't he just die without even being in a group? He's saying that's better. Very strong. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. You won't even give that answer, huh? And that's how simply he got here. They made his past very short. That's just, that's past still. Let's see. Oh, okay. We're getting like a glimpse of the past and the person at the same time. It's not the same time, but yeah. This is thanks, wait, this is not thanks to Aizen, because Aizen came after that. So this is just be the result of him becoming too strong and being lonely. Wait. Okay. At least they're not trying to fight. I honestly always like Kyoraka's character, even though it's He's had a laid back but ridiculously strong character. But I didn't think he would have to like defeat him without even using a bankai. Damn, okay. Whew. Okay. Nah. Okay, he's kind of interfering, I think. Oh, maybe not. They are actually working as a team, I guess.
but she's actually keeping up with them that's pretty badass and shows her strength with the mask as well that's actually Cascada that's her favorite attack okay this time it's pretty powerful damn he throws her with it okay now is your chance if you have a chance oh wait no never mind they didn't have a chance to be continued I said okay calmly observing everything Oh Okay. Oh, he's going to do something stupid. I swear I hate my phone. He's going to do something. He's going to kill her. This guy just casually come in and kill everyone. No big deal. So Eisen is dead. I mean, um, Eisen killed. One of his supporting are like nothing. So end of the day, it's just Gin and Hosen and Tosen. It's the two people he trusts and he thinks strong enough to fight for him. I. If Ichigo will be here, he would be even more pissed off and I'm pretty sure even Hitsugaya and everybody, they are more shocked than anybody else. Because even though he's a scum, but he still just came and took them down like nothing. And obviously she didn't fight back. She probably was shocked more than anybody else. And we didn't even get to see her past either. Speaking of fast, we're gonna go and see old Kyoga's fast. I need to remember that by end of everything I talk about this. And Kyoraku's fight, his Zambatu is pre OP, his power. Again, I said it before, the fact that he didn't go Bankai to defeat Stark, that shows his ability, but obviously he didn't defeat him alone, but still. It's not like Stark was heavily damaged. Okay. Which ghost is that? Oh, and that's Ishida. Well, he didn't technically have a problem. Oh wait, he was the ghost. Never mind. Uh, but as I was mentioning, I forgot what I was talking about. Okay, I think I was talking about Aizen. No, it's actually Kyoraku was Stark. Uh, so Stark was actually defeated. It's not like fair and square like they mentioned but Kyoraku is like honestly his character is not the most favorite character for me he is not like a firefighter and all that like he has said after you become a captain you don't get that luxury of fighting fair otherwise you will actually lose some troops and etc uh, uh, but yeah overall good episode episodes 
I enjoyed it. Stark fight, it's not my favorite. I think. <sighs> okay, here we go again. I, I honestly don't think Stark fight will be my like top f like number one fight because I uh, Ulkyora was Ichigo, uh, Ulkyora was Byakuya, Ulkyora was I mean, did I say Ulkyora was Byakuya? Ichigo was Byakuya, and then Ichigo was Kenpachi. Those fights were pretty strong fights too. So I honestly don't know which one to go as number one for me yet. I have to watch a few of the fights or like put down all the fights and then rewatch those fights and come up with you know which whichever is gonna be the best for me. Uh, but I don't think Stark was Kyura could become the best fight, but it's not a weak fight by any mean, but it's just it's not top fight for me. Uh, let me know which is your favorite fight, guys. I mean, which like out of so far, which is your favorite? I'm expecting Ichigo vs. Aizen might be like the strongest, but I, I don't even know if Ichigo can alone defeat Aizen. I, I don't know, but I'm looking forward to it. So I'm gonna go and check out uh, Ulkyora's past. For some reason, you guys really want me to check this out. I honestly thought, you know, when I read the manga, that would be like the perfect time for me to find something new as well. Like, you're probably gonna get some reaction out of it as well. So, but anyway, let's go. I'm watching this on YouTube, but there's some like a strange music. I checked into like first 10 seconds. Uh, it has some strange music behind it. It's not nothing to do with Bleach, I think. So, hence, I'm not gonna actually watch that. I mean, uh, let you guys listen to it, but you guys can read it with me because it's on YouTube already. So, yeah. Simo Urahara. Okay. Not B, but B. Okay, I don't know what that title is about, but let's see. Not B, but B. What is there? Over there. Okay, that's Ulkira. I lost the link that you guys actually gave me because the comment things were pretty high. Okay, Ulkira is like in the thorns. There is nothing. I was born in the bottom of a pit where no light shone. Dark sediment worn under the dark uncertain of what to become as if pressed together by darkness i had a white form my commanders were all pure black so i guess he kept discriminated in those black forms with those eyes shining and teeth where they were certainly eating something and then what were they eating they were nothing to me but my eyes So he began his own journey. I felt nothing, no, rather it was possible of what I felt was the void, yet I could hear nothing, I could buy nothing, I could smell nothing, I could feel nothing as I touched, I could not rest. I had no companion, just walking alone. Things that could not be reflected in my eyes do not exist. Walking, 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 walking. When I arrive at that thought, I have found something extraordinary, extra, extraordinary door there. We. He's in his bad form. But again, that's before they became an espada, right? It was somewhat the place of birth for those strange transient objects that dotted this world. It was the first time in my life my eyes had been captured. I sank my body into that great void. 
That was nothing. Wait, that's those are the thorns. Even I had lost my line of vision and I dissolved into the void and I felt if everything had disappeared. Happiness. Wait, that's Inoue, it's Ulkiora. Okay, wait, so this is at that point present, I guess. If such a thing called happiness exists, it should be something which resembles the limitless nothingness. Uh, have nothing and have nothing to lose if that is not for happiness then what is the thing reflected in my eyes have no meaning the things that could not be reflected in my do not exist there is nothing in you and in me Okay, that's not exactly the backstory I think you guys were hoping for. I think I found the wrong one. Uh, the funny part was I didn't know Inoue was serving tea to Utkiora and she seems happy about it. She's not like worried she's in the enemy territory. But anyway, that's not an important point. Um, overall, I learned something new from here. So when Ulkira was talking about the part where he was born in a dark place and there was nothing that's white like himself, like everything is just dark. Where the hell is that place? And he he's actually a quiet character that I have a hard time understanding and I can't hate him for some reason. I mean, he's not like a bad character he's just he's just he it he, he's just Ukyora. I, I, I don't know how to explain his character like I mentioned I have a hard time understanding his character he's just simple like everything that's reflect in my eyes have no meaning that doesn't reflect in my eye doesn't exist it's just I, I, I don't know I don't know how to explain that okay I'm, I'm sorry this form um, I have to do. oh come on okay anyway that's it for me people hope you guys enjoyed the reaction if you did don't forget to leave a like I think next is a double episode reaction as well so look forward to that looking forward to seeing what the hell is Aizen gonna do to everyone and when Ichigo gonna decide to come up come from there and what's happening with other side like Ishida and Mr. Zero you know yummy so all of that i'm looking forward to that's it for me people have a wonderful day or night and see you guys with more videos